yo what's the guys familiar here and welcome to my channel so I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys you know um you don't know man i am the free to play well if you don't know what that means comment down below free to play well down below and i'll explain it to you guys but um i was trying to test some teams out in pvp it was some non meta teams and um <laughs> i figured i figured out that like most people who play around pvp they're using mostly festival go or some holy really perks a ball and champ which is very annoying so we're gonna do our anti-meta stopper team which is featuring blue gother summer merlin and amelia with the one asking her for a cc push in the back and pretty much a mono blue team that counters the meta that's going on right now so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like and subscribe and can i get a yay okay in the comments as well all right so we got a keo and lolly merlin um let's see how well we can do against this guy i want to stop his debuffs so he's going to probably just attack some attack some right here um well i feel like merlin might be a bigger threat than keo though but i don't know i'll just target keo because he has mad ignites on me he does gonna try to throw as many ignites as he can he's using tarmia link on no, keo because keo is not not tanky he actually is too which is funny that boy is not tanky all right so he does go for that okay he pushes for his ultimate um so i probably gotta do something like this then and hmm i have to play this right debuff and then do this on you now this could cost me the match just because he can just like do something else um because if i don't get a freeze he can just have his ultimate on me and then i, I just get nuked so i'm bank banking on like a freeze and i don't get it so he's gonna have his merlin ultimate right here and he's gonna nuke me well, at least he doesn't have a merlin card which i doubt there's no way he doesn't go for his merlin card oh he thought he was going to kill that's very unfortunate for him he thought he was going to kill too oh that sucks my dude that really sucks um yeah i'm just gonna do this then Yeah, I thought he was going to kill. All right, so his whole hand is locked. And we have multiple ultimates. So he should have went for that Merlin ultimate if he could. That would have saved him so much right now. That would have saved him so hard. Because now he's just ending up just losing now. Because he has to take two ultimates. I f the funny thing is, like, I knew he would be like, um... Kyo, <laughs> Kyo with Tarmio. This is literally the only thing you can be in PvP. Uh, I'm just do this then. You can't really do much because I'm gonna attack someone back again. Yep. And then we get rid of him right here. I'm assuming he's using the one escort in the back too. Oh my God! Look at that HP. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at them heals. Be back to full HP like that. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Zeltra's in the back. All right. Wait, what could... Oh, he could use Zeltra's card. I'm to say, what card could he ever use? Because I already locked him before. And this guy is champ one. All right. Sucks. That's tough, my dude. Pretty tough. And he forfeits. GG. Summer Merlin is just so beautiful. All right, so I put um, Festival Zeltras instead in the back. Oh, this is the same guy. But I put Festival Zeltras in the back just because I feel like um, that I, I debuff most people most of the time. So I feel like I should probably do something like this then. 
Um, I'm shoot. I'm probably gonna go for his Merlin. From what I've seen, he's using Tarmio Link on Kyo, so it's kind of like wasteful. So I might as well just do that to you. His his Kyo can heal. All right. <laughs> his Lolly Merlin, she can't. So he's kind of like in an infinite loop with me just attacking his Lolly Merlin. And he has Zelda in the back too. Okay, he's pushing for his ultimate. All right, what a smart guy. He pushes for his ultimate this time. So we do the same thing again where we seal him up. And we do this. Um, This time I'm probably gonna just um freeze him if I get double freeze. Ooh, never mind. We got a way better hand. <laughs> we got a way better hand this time. Um, I won't be able to stop his power strikes, but at least I already did some damage to him, so he can't really do much against me. Yeah. I mean, he can use his power strike card. Unless he's already dead from right here. So let's see. Oh man, didn't do enough damage. Maybe the uh, I doubt the weak point card would did a lot of damage either. Cause now he has to kill me with um his power strike card, and I believe I reduced his attack as well. So let's see how many power strike cards he got. Oh, that did nothing. Oh my god. Oh, that did nothing. Oh my god. I feel so bad. That did absolutely no damage. Jeez, my dude. And the bad thing about it is like once Kyo gone, I heal I heal for a ton. Cause he had all those ignites on me. If y'all didn't realize I healed for a ton, it was because of that. Because of Kyo being gone. That's the only reason why. Cause once Kyo leaves, I get my HP back. Yep. Infinite I just got if <laughs> all my HP back from that. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Maybe it would have killed his Lolly Merlin. And now you just have Zelda's in the back. Oh, never mind. Bye bye. GG. Um. All right. So we got Chandler player. Oh, I mean, I'll CC by a little bit, didn't he? All right. I have to see what he's gonna do. He has a silver card right in his hand. I wonder if he has like a gold buff. This is a gold buff. This is a silver. Wait, why would you use a silver then? That's so weird. Do anybody understand why you use the silver card instead? I don't know. Well, I need to stop him from getting his ultimate. So I'm just going to go for the silver card right here. And. Debuff him right here with Amelia. He's probably going to go for attack card anyways. Because he didn't go for a gold buff, which I'm very curious on why. I thought he had it in his hand. Don't tell me he has all attack cards. Don't tell me he has all Amelia attack, all Margaret attack cards right now. Wait, actually, wait, why would you do that? He just froze himself. I just thought about my head. Like, don't tell me you have it, but you just froze yourself now. Like, that was very weird. Um... Yeah. I'm just gonna do this then. So now I have two ultimates. I guess he got spooked about my summer Merlin. That's the only reason I can that's the only thing I can explain. He probably got spooked by Summer Merlin and said, yo. YOLO. That man just got spooked. I understand my guy. When you get your whole hand sealed multiple times, I would be spooked too. I would be spooked as well. So it's a very scary sight in PvP. I understand. But this is gonna hurt though. Double ultimates is never good. You never wanna get hit with like double AoE ultimates in PvP. But it's usually very strong. And he's dealing with the strongest ones. So let's see what he got. I wonder what he has in the back though. This man probably he, he's probably running like Purgatory Bond in the back. He looked like a Purgatory Bond player with like holy relic.
He actually does have it. He actually does have it. Please tell me he's going to be a HP buff. Oh, man. All right. So he's going to be used. All right. Good. Th good thing. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't have any. I can't do anything because I have to play passive against that. Um, actually, yeah, I could probably just do something like this then. And hmm. Yeah, I probably got to do something like this then. Play very passive against his freeze. Because what I'm gonna need to do is like attack zone multiple times. Oh man, so oh yeah, Merlin Ultimate is about to come. So I don't need to worry about that too much. Also, we got a freeze, which is good for me. That's very, very good. Um Yeah, you might as well just do something like this then. Do this and then take away his gauge as well, unless he gets like a merge. Which hopefully he doesn't, alright? <laughs> I'm kind of betting on this right now. Because he's using Holy Relic Birthday Bond. So um, I have to play very, very careful against this. All right. So if he doesn't get a merge, he still got the H. Okay. He cleansed it. All right. So he threw up his HP buff, which is good for me. Then I could go from ultimate again. Um... Probably do something like this then. Freeze them. And then move my cards. Wait, do I? Do I need more cards? Because I'm very scared of the attack still. I'll, I'll just do it for now. Hopefully I get another Merlin card. I'm kind of bad on this Merlin card right now. I, I really need to attack still him. Every single time. Oh, I do get it though. Let's go. Oh man, it's a difficult match. This is a very difficult match. Holy Rally Perkins A Bond is so good when you use if you face off with somebody who don't have like a, a CC or anything like the freeze or stun them, you're gonna get absolutely destroyed by Perkins A Bond Holy Relic. Because he's just gonna spam detonate. I kid you not, but GG my dude. Good match. I was not expecting Holy Relic Bond in the back, alright? You know that is pretty common sometimes. Okay, so we got oh a Malaska. This has been a while since I've seen a Malaska in PV. And he's ult rush. Okay. Ult rush Malaska. Interesting. Is he using like CC food or something? Um I feel like targeting. I don't know why, but I feel like targeting a sub on this a lot. Especially since I can lower his HP. To the point of pretty much nothing. Alright, so he throw up his stance against us. So all we need to do is just spam, probably just spam freeze this guy. Actually, wait, yeah. I think I get ultimate right here, don't I? Yeah, I should get ultimate right here. Like, we just freeze you. Yeah, we just want to freeze you. I do a regular freeze on you and then do this on you. He, he wasn't running Ludo CL, which they usually just run Tarmiel, so wasn't really expecting to. All right. I want to see what he's going to do now. Because I have a melee ultimate ready. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna take a lot of damage from this, especially since he's using um Malaska Commandment. Cause now we got the extra damage dealt as well. Um, very unfortunate for him. Cause we should still do a lot of damage against this guy. Oh man, he's still alive. <gasps> oh my god, I was not expecting him to be alive still. Oh my god. Oh my god, Morelli, you are done for. How do you still alive? I had multiple cards. Unless he has Festival Zelch in the back. Oh 
Oh my god. Alright, so we got the one asking with Margaret. 281. Um, let's see what we can do. Um, I might have to just go for a freeze. Freeze against this guy. For the most part, yeah. I feel like I should just go for like a freeze. Especially since the one that's gonna probably target me the most. So we'll probably go for you, you, and then freeze you. Yeah, because HP is very low on Escanor. So if we stop him from attacking us, then he can't get no HP back. And we get the silver card, which is the best thing for me right now. It's that's huge. And we got a freeze, so we can freeze him again. And then once we have that freeze, we'll be able to attack again with Merlin. Which is very good for me. That is huge. Oh man, he actually wait, he goes for his gold buff on me? Ew. I was not expecting that one. I was not expecting his gold buff. Um Alright, this might be difficult then. Alright, that's gonna I feel like that's gonna be a lot threat a bigger threat though. Oh yeah. Alright, so he has one gold attack card. He has one gold. Which I don't care about. Literally he has one gold. He does have his ultimate though. Um, which is scary. But it's no big big deal. Wait, why would you do that? Why would he do do himself like that? For, just why? He just he just cost himself the match by doing that. Cause I should be able to nuke this guy right here, especially with a gold. Like, why would you do that? Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a last match too. All you had to do is go for green gold or ultimate, and he would have had a better chance. Cause right now he's gonna get attacked so crazy. And he just froze himself. Oh, never mind. The sorry out card. I'm gonna say he froze himself. Told you, man. This team is so good at ceiling. The only bad thing is, like, you're very reliant on like RNG and stuff. I get that's the most annoying thing you gotta deal with with this team. But it's really good because if you don't get that silver um, card on Gotha, it's very hard to beat the market players. But I'll take this as the last match, man. Um, very good team. You know, it's just a market team. It's a very good team. Summer Merlin, just so clutch. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, man. I'm just been enjoying PvP with these non-meta units. Maybe I might use some meta so I can farm up back to champ one. Because me trying to test out these weird teams like disaster teams, it's not very good for my rankings. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe again. This is Merlin, and I'm out. Peace.